The Biden administration announces, Fox News broke it this morning, that Department of Homeland Security is looking for volunteers from the Department of Defense, so from our military, to go to the southern border. Not to help secure the border, to help with housekeeping, picking up trash. We use that image, if you're watching the broadcast, of all the trash being picked up. Picking up trash, sweeping, cleaning, shredding paper, going to local pharmacies, serving illegal immigrants. Is this the best use of our armed forces? In this situation is they're looking for volunteers. I want to start right there because I'm looking, I'm sitting there going, who would volunteer? If it was a, a security job, I could see people saying, you know what? I haven't had the chance to be deployed. Maybe this would be a good opportunity to use some of my skills, mass influx of people. But this is to be, this is to do uh, uh, busy work. My understanding is these volunteers, this pool of volunteers will come largely from the Pentagon itself. I, I was stationed there three years. I can't imagine anyone so low on the totem pole at the Pentagon that, that they're not needed there to do their job, but instead are, are sent to the border. No doubt there is a crisis on the border. We have 2 million people this year who have crossed the border illegally and were apprehended uh, almost 2 million last year that's 4 million people they think there's about 1 million get gotaways uh, some of them are from all over the world 78 were on the terrorist watch list and then you've got fentanyl and drug trafficking and sex trafficking no doubt there is a crisis but the answer is not to take soldiers sailors airmen and marines and put them on trash detail or housekeeping duties for illegal immigrants on the southern border. This, again, to me, just underscores the lack of commitment to actually, one, securing the border, but two, even what the problem is. The problem is not that, I, again, there might be a trash problem, but do you really need the U.S. military? To, is it that big of a trash problem to handle? You need U.S. military to run out and, and run errands for illegal immigrants? People being trafficked here. This is like the cartels must love this. This idea that our military is going to be servants to the people they're trafficking into the United States. I think in some ways it tells you what the Biden administration thinks of our soldiers, our warriors, our Air Force, our sailors, our Army. To say, hey, we think best use of your time is to go work on a humanitarian mission inside the United States of America. And that mission may need to be accomplished. Sign me up for taking care of people who are in a bad place. But to think the Department of Defense is the right agency to do that is ludicrous, given what we've just spoken about with Iran, China, all of the challenges we face. They view the military as another political tool of theirs. They misunderstand the central mission of these talented young people who are willing to risk their lives for America. I hope that report turns out to be wrong and they're not thinking about using our military in that way. This is wrong on so many levels. I hope some of the outcry that, that they're getting will cause them to, to change their mind. This is where senior leadership, Jordan, at the Pentagon should be going to the president and to DHS and, and forcefully objecting to this. But right now, as far as we know from the senior leadership, it's crickets. I'm not saying that people in the military who are, again, uh, volunteer and serve, and a lot of good people out there who would volunteer and help in, in these kind of crisis situations. But we're talking about taking members of the armed forces away from their jobs to be a volunteer trash and servant force for illegal immigrants. This is another example, Jordan, of the Biden administration totally not understanding the ethos of the United States military. It, it, this, this is not what they train to do. Morale is a bit shaky anyway right now since President Biden became commander in chief and some of the, the senior leadership have bought into some of the, the cultural progressive ideas and they've, they've intimated that the military is, is somehow filled with uh, systemic racism and domestic terrorism, things like that. That has hurt morale in the military. Like everyone else, young soldiers are struggling. Uh, we reported, you know, last month and talked about, you know, the fact that some of them are on food stamps. But now this, this, it is, it is sad, but it is no wonder that as has been reported as recently as yesterday, but it's been being reported for the last several weeks that the, the military is missing their recruiting goals by tens of thousands of people. This administration, they will not admit, even when they admit that they've got a problem, there's so much to deal with now. But using our military, the men and women, and putting the pressure on them to volunteer to go on this mission to the border, not to secure it, but to, to clean up trash and serve illegal immigrants. I, don't we, I, I would imagine there's a lot of other government agencies that could send people, and we don't have to be using our military. 